Hello class. To continue with our discussion, let us now create another class as we discuss the data types, particularly the primitive data types. So let us first open our previously created package, the Java introduction. Just double click it or click it. Then as you can see on the project tabs, projects tab. Click the plus sign. To see the source source code. Click on the plus sign until you see the previously created class. So this is the one we created previously in our class discussion. Now this time we're going to create another package. Let's create now another package in the package that we previously created, the Java introduction. So I simply click on the cup of coffee. I'm drinking coffee right now. It's raining outside. Click new, right click the cup of coffee icon, click new, select Java package on the sub menu. The new Java package window now appear. We may type the file name for this package. So we're going to name it again. Do not forget to type first your last name. We're going to check that if you have you had followed the instructions in writing file name. So we could check it easily. So again type the last name and data types. This will be our package name. Last name, data type, the file name syntax for our package name. And by default, since from the first time we created our project, we already selected the folder. So that this way it's already here. Now if you want to change the location, you may just click here. But it is not advisable to uh, change the folder. So we want you to, I want you to save all your files in the same folder as I have I had instructed previously so after typing out the package name you may click finish button so the new package now is created so let's type let's write 
a class inside this package. So right click a package name and then new and then select Java main class in the sub menu. Now in the new Java main class dialog box, you type the class name. So again, do not forget to type your last name. And then I will rename it. So name the class name primitive types. So we're going to talk about the primitive types. One of the main category under data types of a Java program. So after typing the class name, click finish button. So the edit area now, the template to write your source code is now open. Again, so since I have already created a, a sample primitive types, I'll just open it. So how to open it? previously created file, just click file, open file, and then look for the file you previously created, or simply you can cancel this one, we have the fastest way, click file, open re recent project, and you click the previously created project. There you go, the primitive types. So I already created this. I wrote this already to speed up our discussion. So simply copy paste it, highlight or control A and then control C to copy everything in the template and then replace, highlight again the one that you are currently editing and then control V to paste it so as you can see there are minor errors here so let's troubleshoot it we can close this one now our reference so this is a source code showing the comparison between the data types and the primitive types of Java programs. So let us first fix the errors. So incorrect package because our package name now is as you can see the package name here is including the last name so let's type let's correct this minor error so as you can see the warning button rather warning icon here is gone now we still have another one to fix it says class primitive types is public should be declared in a file name primitive types that java so since our class name again 
take a look at this. Her class name is has a last name, so let's insert the last name. Make sure that the package name and the last the class name match. Okay. So let's check. Last name. Okay. So no more warning. We can now save our file. Control S on your keyboard. And then let's run the program. On the menu, the menu bar, you choose Run Tab. Under the Run Tab, click either select Run File or Shift plus F6 on your keyboard. So wait for sometimes. To see the output, so there is the output now. Okay, now let's talk about the source code. So we have no error so far. So let's maximize the window here by double click. Okay, let's talk about the source code here what happened. So as you can see in our set of instructions, we declare the data type. These are the data type, byte, short, int. So these are the example of primitive types, data types under Java program. So we have the int, long, float, double, char, and boolean. This one, we call this variable. All this, the one I highlighted in yellow. In Java programming, when we say variable, when we use an analogy, it's like a container which hold a value or hold the values. For the variable, so it is you who declare it. Okay, so in this example, row score variable, it has a value of 75. So you already declare it in your program. This is another way of declaring a value inside your source code. So 75 now is the value, a sample value for our variable row score. As you can see, this one is also represents or is showing you that byte sample value is 75. So this is the smallest data type under primitive types. Okay. So this is an, the value sample for short, short data type, and then for int, and so and so forth. Notice that in the long data type, at the last digit of the value, you included the L. So this one is L, not 1. So that is a standard in writing um, long data type. The same thing is true with the float data type. You add F, small letter, at the last, after the last digit of your value. 
and for the char data type do not forget to enclose the value with single quote just like in this example and then for our boolean notice that there is no single code or double code you simply write true or false for the boolean value so let's explain this line you already know what is meant by system.out.print line this is used to display a text on our output window so the text inside the double code will be displayed as is and then the plus symbol here instructing the compiler to call our variable in this example we call the value inside the row score okay so it is expected that the output for this is the value of the byte is 75 let's take a look again at the sample output so just double click the file name at the top so that is why we have the output the value of the byte is 75 so same thing is true with the other lines of instruction okay so this explain now our source code So, see you again next time for more sample program in Java. Have a nice day, class.